What's up everybody? Welcome to Magic for Beginners. My name is Keith. Today's video, we're going to be doing a playing card review and this one is Wes Barker's second to none censored deck. So this is a second playing card release so far, but if you've never heard of Wes before, I got my mate Morgan to tell you a bit more about him. So check this out. Once upon a time, there was a little boy called Wesley Barker who was born. Over time, he became the greatest magician in the world and his magic is second to none. Which is why his new playing card release is still second to none despite it being censored. He's been on Ellen, AGT, and he's fooled Penn and Teller. Is there anything this man can't do? Well, I bet he can't stab a phone book with a sword. Oh wait, never mind. So, is there anything that this man can't do? He's definitely got some big trick energy about him. But yeah, here is the V2 edition of the second to none playing cards, which is called the Censored deck. Censored. So this is another deck which was printed by USPCC and printed on crushed stock with a magic finish. Whatever the magic finish is. How much are they? On the second to none website, these are priced up at £10. But when I bought these, I originally got these from James at the card in for £14, as Weather Shop currently wasn't allowing shipping to the UK, so I had to get mine through the card in. I think they're sold out over at the card in, but you may be able to pick them up at other places such as eBay and other websites. Unless you live somewhere other than the UK, then you may be able to order the deck directly from Wes. The tuck case for the deck is one which is a mixture of being plain, but there's actually so much going on despite it being plain. The front and back of the tuck box features the censored design which has the second logo hidden in plain sight within the black and yellow lines. The sides and top is the same as the front and back and the, the bottom there's the second to none writing and the usual USPCC promo stuff. The tuck flap features Wes's logo and the second to none written on the inside of the tuck along with a hidden message on the inside of the box which is a Steve Martin quote saying, thankfully persistence is a great substitute for talent. The back of the cards is a white bordered card design which has a thick black and yellow censored style stripes which also has the hidden second to none logo repeated all throughout the colored stripes and pops out quite nice with it being also quite hidden. I like that the stripes are designed and shown in a way that you can use the card either way too. So it's not a one way design. What additional cards do you get in the deck? Firstly, you get two blank cards, and as it's a deck by Wes, you know that he's gonna be doing a few card trick using it, just like I'll be doing too. Um, I don't use that trick often, but when you're in the right company, it's absolutely fantastic. You also get a duplicate Joker, which features Wes being his naked self and donning a beer barrel, which is a nod to his podcast called Bottom of the Barrel. Bottom of the barrel, hey. bottom of the barrel, hey. where we always hey. feel so tall. Bottom of the barrel, hey. bottom of the barrel, hey. the barrel The tap that he's pouring a drink from is placed at a specific place that looks like it could be liquid coming from somewhere else. I love the drawing design style for the Jokers too, it's really really nice. Let's look through the deck and the face is a standard USPCC style with custom courts and a custom ace of spades too. The ace has a large spade in the middle and it's coated with a double sensor tape and the second logo across it too. The court cards all have black bars across their mouths and has censored row on it too. The colours for the court cards are made up of a grey, yellowy, gold colour and black. The nice change from the usual standard court cards which is nice. The deck also comes in a very unusual stack too and comes with all the certain numbers grouped together and then in no particular order for those numbers too. It's a very interesting way of doing it and I believe Wes said about this before, it was just because he could and there's no rhyme and reason behind it, basically. Let's talk about handling and as they use PCC cards, they always handle fantastic too. You can do a great amount of shuffles, slides and whatever else you need. Um, these seem to be a bit rougher along the edges compared to a standard deck for some reason, but a quick rub down the side of your leg and this gets rid of that and you're good to go. Like I said earlier, they're printed on crushed stock and have that elusive magic finish too. My deck only has the one blank card in it now, which I've rolled up to be my FU card, trick card. And the other one has gone into a vial and added to my collection of first and second decks along with Pete McKinnon, Piracy deck, and one of my other favorite decks of all time, the White Arsons deck. This is a great deck to be used on video and definitely I will be using that as a deck to grab and shoot when I'm doing card tricks for socials and things like that as the black and yellow lines really pop out in video as you can see in this video as well. This is a completely different radical design for the deck compared to the previous second to none deck and I think it's a great change. I'm very interested to see what Wes is going to be doing next and what he's going to bring out for the next V3 deck if and when that happens. 
Maybe it'll have a barrel design or even a nod to his wife and maybe it's have an air hostess style theme. Who knows? Hope you enjoyed the review of this deck and if you want to check out the previous deck that Wes has released, you can find this on the channel, it should be linked up on the screen now, in the description as well, and you'll be able to check out that fantastic V1 deck. And until next time, see ya!